Hey, this is Chris Martin for Creative Cow, and today we are going to take a look at some of the new features in version 11.5 of Cinema 4D. So over the next few tutorials, what I'll do is I'll just uh, select one of the features and we'll sort of put it into a real world situation. And today we're going to be looking at Mo Dynamics, which is the new uh, Dynamics engine in Cinema 4D version 11.5 that works with um, the MoGraph module. So this is what we're going to be doing. So you can see we've got our text and the uh, the logo and it's going to fall down using the Dynamics module in Cinema 4D and crush the text into a bunch of pieces. So the first part of this tutorial is actually setting up the the text to um, interact with the Dynamics engine like this so that we can have it break apart. And then uh, the actual Dynamics part of it is pretty simple. It's uh, relatively quick. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is a uh, quick breakdown of how the tutorial is going to unfold. We're going to create our text in Cinema 4D, then we're going to extrude the text and we're going to give it a zero movement. We'll use the knife to cut the text up and then we'll use the uh, split and disconnect functions to separate it out. We're going to use the explosion effects to actually give it the depth. So we're going to extrude it but we're going to use the explosion effects to give depth to the text. Then we'll set up our scene, apply the MoGraph to the elements and uh, the rigid body tags that are new to 11.5 and uh, then I actually set mine up here for a GI render and uh, set it up for multi-pass rendering. All right, well, let's start out in Cinema 4D. Okay, so we're in Cinema 4D. We've got a fresh scene. The first thing I'm going to do is go up to the text tool. I'm going to select Arial Black for my font, and we'll just change this. to our text, Creative Cal. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put an extrusion on this. So I'll hold the Alt key down and hit Extrude Text. And I'm going to give that a zero movement in Z. So we basically just have some very flat, flat text. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is come up here, select the text, and hit C on the keyboard to make that editable. And then I'm going to go into a front view, which is F5 on your keyboard. Go into polygon mode over here. And we're going to right click and choose our knife tool. And then we're just going to kind of zero in on this and just split this. Well, before we do that, let's make sure that our visible only is unchecked so that it'll go all the way through and let's just make some knife cuts. So just cut this up however you want. And I'm not going to have you sit here and watch me cut every piece of this up because this is pretty boring. But uh, I will be back as soon as I'm finished doing this. Okay, so I've uh, I've cut my text up with the knife tool. I'm going to go back into the perspective view here. And what we want to do now is we're going to come over here with the selection tool and we're going to select these individual cut up polygons. Make sure that you get each one. And we're going to come to the function menu and we're going to click split and disconnect and have preserve groups checked and click OK. And that's going to separate that particular piece out from the uh, from the rest of it. So you're just going to go through and you're going to do every one of them the same way. Split, disconnect, OK. Split, disconnect, OK. So you can see this is going to be very boring. So again, I'm going to do this and come back when I'm done. 
Okay, so I've disconnected every one of these little bitty pieces here, all these individual pieces, and you can see over here we've got just a ton of stuff. We want to take the very top one and delete it because that's the original complete Creative Cow. And then we want to select the top, uh, shift select the bottom, and we'll right click and we will connect these. And then we can delete all of these. And we've got the uh, one piece left here. And you may be asking yourself why we <laughs> would cut it up into a whole bunch of pieces and then reconnect it. Well, whenever we add the fracture object to this later um, and explode the segments, it's going to know to separate this, this out uh, into these individual pieces. Okay, so now what we want to do is come up here and we want to pull out the explosion effects and we're just going to put that right under the text. And you can see it's uh, already having an effect on the text here. We are going to go to the Object tab and pull that down to zero. And then we can see we've got a little depth here already because of the explosion effects. We're going to go to the uh, Cluster tab and we're going to take the thickness up to, let's say, 50. All right. So now we've got our text. We've got some uh, extrusion going on here, so it's looking good. So now we can actually start getting into the MoGraph part of this tutorial. So I'm going to select the extruded text, and I'm going to go to MoGraph, and with the Alt key selected, select the fracture object. And I want to make sure that explode segments is selected here under the fracture object. And we'll just take our little fong tag and we'll drag it onto the fracture object here. Let's go ahead and create a cube. And we're going to use this as our floor plane. Just drag that out. Go into our different views just sort of get that situated however you want. Go ahead and save that. Now I'm going to pull my uh, merge my logo in with this scene which you guys will have this included with the project files and we just want to kind of make sure that when this thing falls it's going to hit the text and make sure it's over that. It looks pretty good. Now I want to take this cow logo and I want to put it underneath the cloner object so I'm going to go and hold the alt key down select the cloner object and it's immediately by default it's going to make three copies or two copies. I want to go in here and put one for the count so let's put that so we just have our, our one creative cow logo here so now we basically have our three elements here. This is where the magic happens. So I'm going to just select all three of these. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to MoGraph Tags and select Rigid Body. Now for the cloner object, which is the logo, let's just call that cloner logo. I'm going to come in here and select the little tag here. And for the trigger, I need to make sure that's set to immediately. And for the fracture object, which is the text, we'll select that tag and make sure that the trigger is set to on collision. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to select the tag that is on the cube. And for the shape, I'm going to set to box. And that's pretty much it. So let's, uh, let's take a look and see what we've got. Let's run through the timeline here. All right, so there you go. The dynamics are working. It's uh, destroying the text, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so from here on out, basically what I did was uh, I set a uh, set up a GI render, put a sky object in here, put some uh, cool looking textures on the uh, text, and uh, then I did a multi-pass render 
and took that into After Effects and put a few uh, elements in there from the Action Essentials 2 package. So I got the smoke and uh, the uh, debris falling or, or flying at the camera here. That's going to be it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And my name is Chris Martin for Creative Cal. I'll see you next time.